Hey, this is Tara Pritchett, Confidence Coach for Women, and I'm excited to talk to you today about four things that are currently missing from your prayer life. As you know, I'm a confidence coach. I help women get their ish together, and I help women unleash their fierce confidence and power and purpose from the inside out. So you already know I'm not a pastor. I'm not a reverend. I don't have a master's in divinity. But when I do speak about God, and I speak about prayer, and I speak about spirituality, that comes from my own personal studies, but also studying other other women who have been first ladies who do know the Bible really, really well, in addition to my own biblical studies. Um, but today I want to share with you uh, more so not only what I've learned from my own spiritual mentors, but also what I've learned on my own spiritual journey about the power of prayer. Um, and this year alone, in the last year, I have seen my, my relationship with God soar. Uh, I would say I was at a probably about like a 70, 80, and it soared to about a 10,000 at this point, just because of a number of things that I have shifted and changed. And if you want to shift in your finances and your health and your relationship and your confidence and your purpose, Right, just in a general about how your life feels, right? What we all are secretly desiring is we want a peace that surpasses all understanding. And that kind of peace comes from a certain level of freedom that we have to be, do, and have what we want and to simply just be ourselves without answering to anyone else, without trying to please anybody else. Um, That's really what we're searching for is that peace and that freedom to do the things you want to do. But in order to do that, oftentimes I already know you pray. I already know you believe in God who is awesome and who's amazing. But over the course of the last couple of weeks, I've been doing some calls with women, just kind of some introductory discovery calls. And if you're interested in one, go to unleashyourfierce.com slash work with me. Um, and it's a 20 minute call and I'm just simply getting to know women, seeing where they are and seeing how I can help them. And one thing that's come up at least five times in the last month is this whole idea of prayers. Like I said, I know you're praying, but I find myself saying over and over again, that it's not how much you're praying, it's the ways and things you're doing with the prayer, right? And a lot of us are praying and then we're wishing, we're wondering, we're waiting for things to come into our life. And then we're like, okay, God, when is that going to come, right? We get impatient, we start doubting, we start fearing, we start worrying, which brings me up to the four things that your prayer life is missing. And if you're able to master these four things, then you will see an increase in your relationship with God. You'll see an increase in all the things that are around you that need that shift. You'll get a new increase in clarity, in your life, well, which will in turn raise up your courage to be, do, and have the things that you want. And then you'll see a shift in your confidence. And when you get that shift in your confidence, then you become unapologetic and unbothered, which means you've brought, been brought to a new level. And as we all know, when you get to a new level, there's a new devil. So there's a need to strengthen your spirituality yet again, uh, which is the stage that I'm currently learning about. So the four things that you are missing in your current prayer life, the first thing is consistency. The first thing is consistency. So a lot of my clients tell me that, oh, you know, I pray here and there. Um, But the first thing is consistency. If you can consistently pray and also not just consistently pray, but consistently have certain phrases and things that you say that activate clarity, that activate courage, that activate confidence, that bring a shift in finances. If you know some some new language to say, and I'll give you you a way to do that, make sure you sign up for my prayer challenge um, at unleashyourfears.com slash pray, because I want to give you some new language to use to be more consistent, to get a shift and to get the clarity. A lot of us sit around, we break God, what's next, right? A lot of us don't know how to ask that question. And then we wish, we wonder, we worry, we wait because we don't know what to do next in our career and our relationships with our children or with going back to school or whatever the case may be. So again, consistency in doing it every single day, but also the consistency in the certain words and phrases that you are saying to bring the answers and wisdom and insight and divine downloads to yourself, okay? The number two thing that you are missing is faith. I know that's like ironic, but a lot of us, we pray, but then we don't have faith that the things that we want are going to come to us, um, right? Or we we don't have the faith because we don't see it come right away. So again, I want to teach you a way to increase that faith, even when you don't see what you want around you come in the way you want to, which is going to bring me up to number three thing missing in your life. And that is the word surrender. And a lot of us don't want to surrender <laughs> because if we surrender and we let go, like, oh my God, who's going to control my life? Again, God should be controlling your life at all times. Surrender is one of the hardest things to learn, but I promise you it is the most, is actually the easiest and most rewarding thing that you have to learn and you have to do. A lot of us get hurt and feel a certain way because we have certain expectations. Like I expect to get married by 30. I expect that this guy is going to be this way. I expect I'm going to make more money by this date. And then when it doesn't happen, we all of a sudden feel a certain type of way and that decreases our 
faith. Sometimes that, lock, that fault that knocks us off of our consistency because we're like, oh my God, it's not coming the way I want it to in the package you want it to. But God doesn't work what you want it. He doesn't work in the season you want him to. He doesn't He doesn't magically show up because it's a new year. Like that's what we are coming up with. Oh, it's going to be, about to be a new year. He don't care. Oh, it's about to be Thanksgiving, so I need money. He does not care. <laughs> that might not be the lesson or the blessing that he is doing in that particular season. Again, if you want to learn how to surrender, go to unleashyourfears.com slash pray to sign up for the prayer challenge. And that's going to bring me up to number four thing that you are missing from your prayer life. And that is a sense of openness, right? Again, a lot of us are very rigid. We have our vision boards. We have our goals. We want this. We want that. And then we get upset, goes back to that surrendering. When we come up with this big grand vision and then it doesn't come to pass in the time frame we wanted to, in the way that we wanted to, with the people we wanted to, you know, at that right exact time we wanted to. So as women, and even as men, if men are listening, we have to learn how to be open to whatever it is that God wants for us and wants to guide us and direct us. And sometimes it may not always feel good um, in the physical realm, but in the spiritual realm, if you have that, that close relationship, you can get yourself through anything. So again, the four things that you are more than likely missing in your prayer life, maybe all four, maybe one of them, is consistency, faith, surrendering, and openness. If you're interested in learning how to elevate yourself and increase um, the effectiveness of your prayer life and the way in which your relationship is flowing with God, then I encourage you to sign up. UnleashYourFierce.com slash pray. Have a good day.